Hey everybody, my name is Esther and I have Parkinson's disease and I want to show you what on time look for me. This is my on time. I can do anything I want. I don't have a tremor. I feel great because I took my medication about 45 minutes ago. So this is the beginning of the peak on time for me. My new medication will buy me four hours of on time. And during that time, I am going to run around like a chicken with their head cut off, cleaning, organizing, doing, uh, checking emails. You can probably hear my dryer running in the background. That's because that's going. I just cleaned my kitchen. I just made an appointment with my ophthalmologist. I returned all my emails. I worked out. And this is the best time of the day for me. Two things. I haven't eaten today at all because as soon as I put something in my mouth, this could all go left. So I don't risk it. I just starve. <laughs> Number two, this on time is amazing, but it's not going to last me four hours, not because of medication, but because I am going to become exhausted and fatigued very, very quickly into this mad dash to live my life in these small windows of opportunity where I feel like a person again. And when that fatigue hits, it hits like this, <laughs> like a two by four, which means the stuff in the washer will stay in the washer and the stuff that I pulled out of my pantry to organize will stay pulled out of my pantry to organize later because I will be completely immobilized when the fatigue hits and frequently now I just go to sleep nap in the middle of the day because like game over when that happens and it's a very frustrating way to live for me since I have wearing off dyskinesia I also have been um, getting already the creep of like when my wearing off period starts so uh, you're supposed to get five hours off this medication I'm getting about four and if it's uh, like the last med that four becomes three becomes two and then here we go again on the roller coaster of young onset parkinson's disease so when you see somebody like me living their best life no i've got about two hours if i'm lucky of best life and then i probably am going to be completely um screwed the rest of the day and the reason this makes it so hard to live our lives is because nobody plans their, plans their lives around me. I have kids, I have a husband, I have obligations, and they wait for no on times. So for me, I'm always like doing these calculations to try and figure out like, okay, maybe if I rest earlier or I eat at a different time, um, I will have to eat after this next dose. Um, which is why a lot of times I'm really bad about the second dose because that morning dose is like you're okay. I'm okay not to eat with my with my morning chai or whatever, but I have to eat with my with my lunch dose. So I have to be really careful about what I eat. Um, so it's a work in progress, but this is what it is like living with young onset Parkinson's disease. Hope this helps.